and greetings YouTube gamers, welcome to another episode of Retro Radar, my name is Johnny Retro and welcome to the channel. So the Sega Mega Drive and the Atari 2600, uh, two very different consoles indeed, but they do share one thing in common, 9-pin controllers. Now on the Mega Drive side of things, this controller is perfectly fine, but when it comes to the 2600, I mean, this is an iconic classic controller, but it is not very good. It is not a very good controller, everybody knows that, uh, sometimes it does the job. But since they are compatible, this is the one that I use to play Atari 2600 games. That's right, if you didn't know that, you can use your Mega Drive slash Genesis controller on your original Atari 2600. To me, that's the best way to play 2600 games. But what if we change the roles here? What about playing a Mega Drive game? Mega Drive game like Sonic the Hedgehog, but with the 2600 controller. That's what I'm going to try today, so let's take a closer look right after this. Okay, so as you guys can see right here, uh, I'm currently running the Sonic the Hedgehog game and I'm using the Mega Drive controller because that's the way that I figure it out in order to do this because you can't start the game with the Atari 2600 one. So what I have to do is to start the game with this one, then unplug the Mega Drive controller and plug the 2600 one. So, let's see if it works, let's see if we can play Sonic the Hedgehog with the 2600 controller. Here we go. And, it's working. Not very good, <laughs> but it's working. This is weird. This is a very weird thing to do, but I'm doing it. Here we go. It is very hard to control, very hard to control Sonic with this controller. Oh my god. Th this side doesn't work very well. A and the jump button just, just freezes. I mean, if I stop Sonic, he can jump. But if he's moving, it jumps. It is weird. So... <laughs> this is probably one of the nerdest things that I've ever done in my entire life. But, uh, yeah. There you go. You can play Sonic the Hedgehog with an Atari 2600 controller. So, uh... Yeah. And there you go guys, this was a different video I know, but uh, I just wanted to try it out. I really don't know why I didn't thought about doing this before, but I've done it and uh, I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Please let me know in the comment section below guys if you ever tried anything like this. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to put a like on this video, please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community and game a lot.